All right, guys, welcome back to another video. Now, in today's video, guys, we're going to be working on this Dodge Avenger. Uh, it's got one of these stupid blackout kits on it that no one really likes and some fucked up window tint. So uh, we're going to fix this, fix that, and fix that. So uh, let's get on with it. All right, guys, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a blackout kit on this. You can probably tell because I've already started peeling it up right here. Basically, what this is is it covers up these taillights and makes them... I don't fucking know what it does, okay? It was on the car when this guy got it. He, he's right here. It was on the car when he got it, and he just doesn't like it. So we're going to be taking that off for him. And then, as you can see, there's a bunch of little air bubbles in this tent. So uh, we're going to be pulling this off, too. Now, some things you're going to need for this is you're probably going to need a heat gun, uh, maybe a pair of pliers, and your hands. That's, that's it. And you're, you're going you're to need a car, too. Don't. You need elbow grease. Elbow grease. Alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the uh, blackout on the uh, tail lights. You know this is illegal in some states, right? Yeah. Yeah, this is illegal in some states, by the way, guys. So if you have this on your car and you buy it like this, you can take it off. So. Okay, so my flan didn't work. Uh, I started peeling it up and it just peeled at this seam right here for some reason. It was actually an even cut. So uh, we're gonna begin with the heat gun now. We're gonna heat up the whole thing and uh, hopefully pull it off in one go instead of having it in a bunch of pieces. Okay guys, so as you can see, this is my tail light out of my Ford Explorer and this is the one out of the Dodge Avenger. I went ahead and took it out so you could see the difference. This is the one with the blackout and as you can see, I already started peeling it. But, I mean, you can see that there's a very distinct difference and during the daytime, it's very hard to see these whenever he's putting on his brakes. It, uh, I've been following him before and he's put on his brakes and I can't even tell that he's slowing down. I've almost hit him doing that. So this is very dangerous. Uh, oh look, actually, see here. Might be able to just, oh, nope. See it ripped in there? Yeah. Hey David, my, my tail lights kind of look like yours right there now. Right, yeah, see there? That's actually a way bigger difference than I thought it was. Yeah, it's a, it's a huge difference between blackout and then without the blackout so all right guys so i already uninstalled it basically what holds it in is two wing nuts and then it pops out and you have these bulbs the way these bulbs go in and come out is the same way they push in like this and turn see there right there and you do the same thing here actually my bad it goes here turns in place and this one turns in place and now you're ready to go now you should be able to just slide it back in there okay so you saw that we put the bulbs in now what holds it on is these two wing nuts yeah right here and right here I hope you can see that uh, basically they just screw on those threads these threads right here that you can see I'm not 100% sure what this is. I'm guessing it's a vent of some sort. I don't, I don't really know. What are you talking about, man? This little plastic piece right here. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. I so, think it's just there to stop anything from hitting it. I don't know what's up with that anyway. I maybe mean, it's a solid piece of steel, I don't know. It's not, it's plastic. Oh, is it plastic? Well, yeah. that might make sense. And there we go, now your tail light is secure in your car. Okay, so if you ever need to replace it, Quick tip, pull these out, check your bulbs, place your bulbs. If you have a wiring problem, you know, test for that. And uh, this is how you want to install it. I know it's weird on Dodges. Why? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> guys so you can clearly see there is an enormous difference now this is the one that we haven't done yet and then this is the one that we just finished it looks really good uh, we're gonna do this side now and then we're gonna go ahead and take care of that but uh, yeah that's, that's a huge difference So 
the screwdriver wasn't really working. I'm gonna take this pair of pliers here. Ah, is it broken? Well, I'm it. It's a little broke, but you have to, but you can put it back in. I mean, they don't. They're not very difficult to replace. Okay. Now we will not damage this foam piece. I was really worried about damaging it because it's a heat gun. It pushes out a very large amount of heat. So it can damage stuff and it could burn the carpet theoretically and I don't want to damage anything on this car. I don't want to damage anything on anyone's car that I'm working on. So uh, yeah, uh, we're going to go ahead and take this thing out now and uh, go from there. I might take out these speakers because they have this cloth thing over them and I don't want to melt that. Damage the speakers not enough to replace them. No, that's okay. I think you'll be fine. You're pointing upwards, right? Uh, I don't know. I'm going to have to get down here. This is going to be very hard to get. Okay. So we attempted the 409 method in this car. It didn't work. We, we cannot get the piece of plastic to sit up in here and just stick to it. I don't know how people do it. Maybe, they, maybe they're way better than us and no more than us. I don't know, but we cannot get it to work. So we're going back to our original idea, which was the heat gun. But we're going to go at it a little bit of a different angle and try peeling it from a corner while heating it up with a glove because apparently you want so to burn, apparently, you want to burn your hand? So apparently we're very dumb and do not know how to use gloves. So we're gonna go get a pair of gloves and uh, cut this corner right here with the with the razor blade. Go ahead and start peeling it. Hopefully, and now I'm, so, I'm gonna say this right now. This is gonna leave glue behind, most likely. But that's what the 409 is for. That's where the 409 still comes in because you can use the 409 to spray on there, and hopefully it'll all come off. If not, get some goof off. Okay, guys. So this is working. It, as you can see right here, it's pulling down. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the rest. Set this to the low heat. If you have this drill master, which I picked up from Harbor Freight, there's a tick on the top right here that says one, and two ticks on the bottom that mean two. Okay guys, so this is the end product. As you can see, all the tint is off, and we've cleaned all the glue off and everything like that. All right guys, so I'm not gonna lie to you and tell you that this is easy, because it's not. All right, this is taking us almost a week to get done. So, the 409 method, we couldn't get it to work at all. We tried it every way possible. We watched countless YouTube videos about it, and we could never get it to work. So we ended up using the heat gun for the whole thing. Honestly, I would say to start with the heat gun, and it's gonna take a lot less time, Just don't get intimidated by it because it can be very intimidating especially if it rips halfway through like ours did then you have to go back to it that that can be very intimidating and it can just make you want to give up and say screw it but don't just persevere through it uh, I'm not gonna lie it's probably gonna be the hardest thing that I've done uh, as far as time goes and everything like that because you know there's not a lot of room for error here because once if once it rips it makes it really difficult to get off so uh, anyways actually what we ended up doing at the very end here was we heated up the outside of the window with the heat gun and then someone was inside pulling it off that made it a lot easier uh, I think because of the fact that I wasn't trying to hold that heat gun and pull down 10 at the same time but anyways guys I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it be sure to leave a like uh, if you enjoy all my videos be sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time bye